Good morning! It's Rachel this week, sharing lots of important information about Eastwood and with several exciting upcoming events. Attention older adults! Greg reminds you to save this Thursday, October 29th, for an all-day Operation Christmas Child shoebox packaging party held in the East Campus Fellowship Center. Sign up for a time slot at either 8 to 10 a.m., 11 to 1 p.m., or 2 to 4 p.m. Each shift is limited to eight people and social distancing guidelines will be followed. Space is on a first-come basis, so register ASAP by calling the church office. And here's a word from our children's director, Megan Wood. Hi, everyone. You may be wondering what I'm doing. I'm decorating a pumpkin so I can get it ready for our family fun night, Wednesday, October 28th. From 6.30 to 7.30, Families will bring their pumpkins, decorate them, and then we will judge them and give prizes to the top three winners. So, I'm working ahead. Also, Jennifer Evans is going to help us make a yummy fall snack. Then, families will take any leftover treat bags to hand out to our neighbors. Families, if you haven't signed up for our family fun night on the 28th, email me, megan at eastwoodbc.org, if you can't make it that night, but would like to hand out these treat bags, they will be available at East Campus near the carport welcome desk from October 25th through the 30th. You can come by, pick up a map with a highlighted street and the fall blessing bags for those families. Please pray that this outreach will bless our neighbors and thank you church family for donating all the candy for these treat bags. Your generosity will allow us to reach so many people in our surrounding neighborhood. Well, Pastor Greg was supposed to help me say thank you today, but he was busy. Oh, well. Hey, you want to see my pumpkin? I hope I get first place. We have an exciting church-wide prayer experience called Love 24. Here's how it works. There will be six prayer stations set up in the East Campus Worship Center from 2 p.m. Sunday, November 1st through 2 p.m. on Monday, November 2nd. Each prayer station lasts about 10 minutes, so the whole experience will take about an hour. Social distancing will be followed. A deacon or staff member will meet you, or you and a friend, or spouse or family at the carport doors as you experience as you begin your prayer experience. Interactive stations will lead you in praying for our community, the lost, our nation, and other areas. You can sign up for a time slot on the link found on the church Facebook page or the church website. If you have any questions, please call the church office at 270-842-7867. One very important note. Beginning Sunday, November 8th, the East Campus Second Service will begin at 10.45, not 11 a.m. This new start time will help families coming from Bible classes to attend the second worship service without too much wait time. Remember that the new time begins Sunday, November 8th. We welcome back Ken Brady this morning as he brings an inspiring message from the Word of God. Ken works with LifeWay and specializes in the area of Bible study groups. Thanks for being here today to hear Ken preach. At times, we might feel we are surrounded by enemies. That's what was true in the life of Christ, and it's also true in the life of His church. The Bible says to lift up our eyes to the Lord because that's where our help is promised to come from. To raise our voices in hallelujah in the middle of the storm is a believer's true act of faith. Let's begin this morning raising a hallelujah to the Almighty Jehovah God.